Carnitas Style Taco Tuesday. This turned out so good. This version was braised in the oven for about three to three and a half hours. You can also put this in a slow cooker. If that works better for you, I cut a three pound boneless pork shoulder into about two to three inch sized chunks. You want to put a little oil in a Dutch oven and sear the chunks on all sides. Try not to overcrowd your pan like I did. You want space so it gets a good sear more easily. Combine one teaspoons of salt, one teaspoons cumin, one half teaspoons black pepper, one teaspoon chili powder, one half teaspoons oregano, and one bay leaf. I diced up one half yellow onion to diced garlic cloves, and you will juice half of an orange. Mine was really juicy. You want close to one quarter of a cup and add that right to the pot. Next, you will add one and one half cup of chicken broth and add all of your other ingredients. If you don't have an oven safe pan or a Dutch oven, you can start out in something for the stove top, then carefully transfer to something oven safe, like a roasting pan or even a cake pan big enough. You could even continue on the stove, but just keep it gently simmering. It would still take about the same time. So give all of that a mix, cover with a lid. My oven was at 325 and it cooked for three hours. This is it straight out of the oven. At this point, you can eat it, especially if you don't like the crispy edges traditional carnitas has. For those crispy edges, transfer the meat to a baking dish. You can carefully broil for a few minutes or put in your oven for 10 minutes or so. Drizzle a bit of the juice from the meat on top first. I save some meat in the pot to stay more juicy and less crispy. A few of us prefer it like that. Here is mine after 10 minutes in a 400 oven. It was still so juicy and tender inside. So now I will show you how I assembled my tacos and what I put on mine. I normally use corn tortillas for carnitas, but I guess we were out. We eat tacos multiple times a week. So we had diced yellow onion, sliced avocado, whole pinto beans, Monterey Jack cheese, thinly shredded cabbage, and some cilantro. Of course, at the salsa you enjoy and maybe some sour cream. I used a green salsa. I believe I see a lot of people adding sliced radish to theirs. I would probably be the only one in my house to enjoy that. Check out the other Taco Tuesday videos I did. I have many others to come. Let me know what you guys do. And maybe I can give that a try sometime. This might be my second favorite way to have tacos. I absolutely love it. Let me know if you give this recipe a try. If you try doing this in the slow cooker, just transfer to a baking sheet after it's fork tender and crisp it up in the oven after. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other Taco Tuesdays.